Hey everybody, it's Chris and Des Show. I'm Chris. And I'm Des. And today we're going to talk to you about a bunch of shows that we've plays, plays. and musicals and both that we've Theater. seen in the last few months and we are way behind. So we're going to... So you have no chance of seeing any of these. They've already closed. Actually, Happy Days. Happy I Days is still open for a few more days. <laughs> yeah, at the uh, Mark Taper in LA. But it is Lackawanna Blues, which was playing at the Mark Taper. Mm-hmm. Tiny Beautiful Things, which was at Pasadena Playhouse. Playhouse. Falsettos, which was at the Almonds. And that's touring. Yeah, that's touring. In the country the somewhere. So if you're watching from somewhere else in the country. I think it's at Lincoln Center now. Or okay. something. I don't know where somewhere it is. Somewhere it is. Um, and then Noises Off, which was a production of, at A Noise a Within noise in Pasadena. And then Happy Days, which is also at the Mark Taper. So let's start with Lackawanna Blues. Says, what'd you think? I remember enjoying it immensely. I couldn't tell you right now... I think it, it was a one-man show. It was yeah. just this one guy and a, a blues guitarist. Because mm-hmm. the story took place in the Deep South. Do you remember where? I don't remember no. where. But this man tells his story about growing up, and it was really good. It seems to me it's a revival that it is a, originally, like, this is a show that it's been around. He wrote it, the guy who was in it. Yeah, he was. it was amazing. But Ruben I don't Santiago think it's Hudson. New. It's not new. It's, 2001, it's from. Yeah, okay, there you go, 2001. So it's been around for a while. It's really good, and so... It was made into a TV it. movie that's really good, too. Oh, maybe that's it. It set... Uh, oh, him I growing up in New York. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Him growing up in New York, and then, like, he leaves with his mom, and he lives with this lady who runs this house oh, for yeah, all yeah, these yeah. poor people. Yeah, it's just so good. And she's so... You love her. And oh. he does all the voices of the lady, mm-hmm. of the, the people in the house with him. Uh, she runs and like he a, really gets the audience going oh, and sometimes, so and the and you guitar. Feel, he sings with the with the guitarist. It's so fun. You feel for her. She. So oh, I wish I knew her name because the lady he plays, the lady who runs the house. She's so good. He calls her like nanny or something. I, I don't know. Remember. I can't remember now. I don't remember. I don't know. It's been a while. Miss since Rachel. We saw. Oh, I'm impressed with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but she, it's a really good. I loved it. Yeah, no, I thought it was, it was really, really good. good. Really, yeah, I remember and, really loving it. And he wrote it, and then he performed it. So that was really even more meaningful. Yeah. Like, this is what life was like. Yeah, great. All okay. right. Now back to our next one. The next one was Fall. Oh, Tiny Beautiful Things, starring. Oh, oh. this went out of my brain. Oh. Nia Vardalos. Yes, 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 yes. And it was written by the girl who wrote Wild. What's her name? Mm-hmm. Her. Give me a second. Oh my God. Keep talking about it. I'm <laughs> okay. So this story is about uh, a, a column, an advice column called Dear Sugar. And this uh, author that Chris is looking up right now uh, got recruited in... Cheryl Strayed. There you go, Cheryl Strayed. She got recruited into being the advice giver. And so this play is her... Like, there's like three, three or four, three different actors on stage and who her. play different yeah, yeah. people asking her for advice. I thought it was really creative. I think Mia Verdalos is the one who... who created the play yeah, based yeah, on she, a book yeah. by Cheryl yeah, Strait. So it was really good. I really think it could go to Broadway. I hope it does at least go to off-Broadway. I thought it was I thought it was high quality enough to do that. But it, I th- it was compelling. The stories are meaningful. She says she gives some really good advice and the pace is good because Nia like knows when it's time to switch and have a mm-hmm. joke and it was I thought it was really good. It was one of the better things I have ever seen at the Pasadena Playhouse. I will say that. No question. What did you think? It was the best thing I've ever seen at the Pasadena Playhouse, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, I, yeah, I really, really liked it. Yeah, I loved Mia Vardalos. I loved the other three car- actors who were in it as well, too. And it was very touching, and I cried at one part of it. Um, and then very funny at parts, too. Very real. Just yeah. very good. Well, Cheryl Strait has a tendency and, to be like that. And she was very, yeah, what a well-written, the book is good too. Des yeah. book, I started the book. book. Uh, and I listened to her podcast too, where the Dear Sugar podcast, where oh. she continues this. It's really, I recommend it. Okay. It's really good. Good job, Cheryl Strait. Yeah. Uh, and then the next one we saw was Falsettos, a musical by William Finn, right? I yes, think so. That sounds sure. right to me. Good. Uh, this has been running for a while. This was on Broadway, and then it was touring, and then I feel like this is the second go-round of the tour. Or is well, it a new been, production? No, it's the same one. Yeah. It's the, but it's the first time of a tour in L.A. 
Oh. It hasn't come here yet. This is now, and now it's going back to the other country. Did we see, where, we saw it in somewhere. We saw it on, they oh, filmed the yeah, original yeah, yeah. Broadway cast and we yeah. saw the filming of it. And we saw the, so. It's, William it's Finn and, and James Lapine, yes. But it's, it's, a, it's a great show. It's this Jewish family and what happens when the father decides he's gay and so they get divorced and then he, it's like, it's all this stuff. It's really fun. The music is fun. The acting is great. The kids are hilarious. It's it's fun. It's a good show. Yeah, I mean, there's good shows. There's nothing. Here's here's what's interesting about William Finn's way of writing. There's no song you leave singing. They're complex songs. Yeah, they're very, they're complex, very complex song. Even though I do like four rooms, four Jews in a room, and then a word. <laughs> uh, but there's kids around. Uh, but uh, and even Stephanie J. Block. Does the original version and Eden Espinosa is on the is in the tour right now, okay. um, and they do this. I'm breaking down. I'm breaking down, and this whole like big. I'm telling you, we thing. gotta get you to sing more. Um, I'm singing all the time apparently <laughs> now, uh, but it's very, it's very another real show. Like this is, there's. It hits some really it, poignant yeah. moments. Absolutely. I will say it's not like a traditional musical. It's not like Wicked where you're going to sit down and there's going to be like this structure that's a certain way right. and these singable songs and this big production because it's not a big production. It's just block that they rearrange they, to yeah, use they, other stuff. They um, use it to create the elements. But that I think is the point of it is to be a little more stripped down and real and in your face. I love stripped down. But it is good. It is good for sure. It's well worth it. Uh, and if you have a Broadway HD subscription, there you, you go. can watch... The original Broadway cast, the, which includes yeah. Andrew Reynolds, who's one of my favorite people in the entire world. Um, <laughs> and he's very good. And so is Stephanie J. Block. Yeah. And so is the whole cast. Yeah. Like Christian Borrell. Christian Borrell. They're yeah. amazing. Um, okay. The next one we saw was Noises Off at A Noise Within. Let, can I just say, <laughs> Noises Off is one of my favorite shows. Go ahead. We loved it so much. Okay. First of all, we found the A Noise Within Theater. And it seems to me that I have heard about it. I have a bunch of times. But yeah. But we have never gone. We've never actually gotten in the car and gone to a production there. And I'm so glad we did. It was so good. This little, uh, this little theater is a, is a thrust theater. So it's three, it's three sides, kind of like the Mark Taper. And it's just, there's not a bad seat in the house. I feel like it's one of those kind of things. And the quality level was sky high. It was really good. So I would recommend any. We have season tickets for next season. Yeah, we bought to, them because because the show because was so good. That show was so great. So I'm really looking forward to going back there more. And it's like a company, so there's a lot of resident yeah. artists, and they do a bunch of the shows, right? Loved it. Yeah, I, and the cast is really was top. They were notch. great. I love all. They were the really set great. is the set was great. It's a really cool set. Always, whenever you see noise off, we've seen it a few times. In the in the show, they have to turn it turn around, you backstage. back and forth. So they show you from the stage, and then they turn it around, and then you see backstage what happened. It is a great show. I always think this. It's a great show to take someone if they've never been to theater before, and you're like, oh, sit down, and you're gonna laugh for two yeah, hours. Yeah, it's just funny. You're just gonna laugh. It's just fun. Which is how, like, the ne the play coming to the Amundsen, I think, the play that goes wrong, uh -huh. is a similar vibe. Yeah. Where you're just going to laugh because it's laugh hilarious. And it is, you see the first, there's three, it's three acts. The first act is them rehearsing. Which on is the supposed stage. to, they say the technical, but it's actually the hours <laughs> before the show goes on. Um, and then the second one is them Backstage. doing the show, but we see it from behind and everything that could go wrong goes wrong <laughs> and then the third time is from the front them doing it their last performance before the tour ends of them on this show and everything it's that goes wrong again but it's in a way, just and it, all a mess it's and so it spirals funny. into the everyone hate they, they all hate each other and they're <laughs> fighting on the set uh and it's it is really hilarious it's a well-written play in the first place but it's complex it's very complex and so it's very impressive to so see many it. It's because so fast. What they have to do to keep it is amazing. And physical. It's so yeah, it's physical. Very physical. Yeah. So it's really good. I want to give a shout out to Casey Mahaffey, who played uh, Gary. I thought, I don't know. I Because Gary never finishes any of his sentences. And he's always like, you know. And just the way he said, you know, I can't even do it right. I laughed every time, I think. And I saw it twice. I went with Dez and my uh -huh. sister. And then I took my wife for our anniversary to see it. And we. We were just dying. And I knew, like, okay, I know he's going to say, you know, this time at the end of all the sentences, and I was laughing out loud again. Uh, but they were 
all really good. Actually, everybody was, it was really, well really fantastic. So I, I would say if you haven't seen a show at Noise Within, go because go, go it's a great it little theater Absolutely. too. Absolutely. And it's free parking. Yeah, it's right there at the at the metro station. Mm -hmm. And Pasadena right In there. Pasadena off the 210. So it's really, really great. Good. I enjoyed it. It's beautiful theater. Beautiful theater. Yeah, it really is. And so then the last show we saw was Happy Day starring two-time Academy Award winner Diane Weiss. And it really, she there's a guy who plays her husband who's in it for like half a second. But it is. It doesn't count. It's, it's, it's an hour and 45 Diane minutes of Diane Weiss. <laughs> Which, don't get me wrong, I love Diane Weiss, so. But here's the thing. It's Beckett. It's Beckett. It's, he's the guy who wrote Waiting for Godot. And you really have to be of a mindset to sit there and listen to Beckett. Like, you got to go to him. He is not coming to you. He is not putting any work into let, helping you understand his play. You have to do all the work to get to what he's trying to say. And so it is so impressive, first of all. It's just a, like I've seen I've seen some Beckett uh, on Broadway and this production is just as impressive to sit down and and to see the actors memorize this in the first place and then find a place where they have connected with these characters yeah. and actually are emoting real emotions about it. And it, she is amazing. In you this won't play. get any better than Diane. Weiss. Amazing. Seriously. But it is hard to sit through. It's just hard to sit through for me. It's for about me. a woman who gets buried more and more as the show goes on. She's halfway up yeah. the first half, and the second half she's up to her neck, and she's just getting buried alive. We don't know why. Well, I think it's metaphorical. It's metaphorical, of course. trying to say but... all these other things, which is, that's the hard part okay. of the play, is you, you really have to get there with him about it. It's the exact opposite of Noises Up. Yes. Never take anyone who has never been to theater no, to a Beckett. No, do not take them to Beckett's. Do not do that. They Don't will be like, that. I hate theater. I never want to go back. <laughs> this is what I thought it was. It's so snobby. Yeah. Like, no, 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 Don't no, no, no. Right in. Samuel Beckett is for theater, well-seasoned theater people. Oh, only, and, right. Oh, seriously, because he's hard. He's hard. He's just hard. To see. Yeah. And it's not. And Beckett's not everyone's thing. No. They're, he's not really our thing. Yeah. We, I, we get the metaphors and the yeah, understand. of I'm it. I'm just not, I'm not a Shakespeare person. I'm oh, not a Beckett see, I am person. a Shakespeare person. I'm not, that's not who I am. I love Shakespeare, but I'm, Beckett's not my thing. But I will say you will not find a better production of Happy no, Days. You if you not. like, if you like Beckett. And in if you your like Happy lifetime, Days, you, you will, will not, not find, find a better, better production. Diane Weiss is, like she is in everything she's ever done highest, since the history of the time. The highest quality. The best you're going to get. Yep. Because it is her. Yeah. That's it. Absolutely. It's her and Sam. And if you're interested at all in seeing the highest quality level of theater that there is in the world today, you'll get your butt down to the Mark Taper Forum and see Diane her Reese in this production. In Happy Days. Because you will not get better than that. Right. She's great. But if you like Noises Off and you like that kind of show, don't see Happy you Days. Skip it. And it'll probably be like it. Happy Days. I don't know if you would like Noises Off yeah, as much. Yeah, absolutely. Probably, it's a no. bold thing. Um, yeah. So that's been our theater experience for the last few months. Hopefully, we're going to see some more things soon. So we'll yeah, keep it's going to be a good summer. Okay. It's going to be a good summer. All right, guys. Bye. Bye.